Hi everyone. If you're new to Old School RuneScape, you probably don't know a whole lot about the game. There's a lot to take in, and for a first time player you can find yourself overwhelmed and lost a lot of the time. Hopefully my video will help you understand a few things about Old School RuneScape that you may not have already known about. RuneScape's website. Old School RuneScape's website can be found at oldschool.runescape.com. The Old School website is where you can access pretty much everything you'll need to know about what's going on in Old School. Here is where you'll access your account settings, check the high scores, view the forums, and if you simply scroll down on the homepage, you'll see the most recent news posts from the past two weeks. Third party game clients. One of the most popular third party game clients for Old School RuneScape is called OS Buddy. OS Buddy is simply just a tool that gives you a lot of added features to help you maximize your game experience. Features like showing text on the ground for expensive items, or placing click markers on your screen so you know exactly where to click for a certain task. You can download OS Buddy at rsbuddy.com. The client is entirely free of charge, unless you want to pay for the Pro Package, which costs 2 euros per month, and you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of Free versus Pro on their website. I myself pay for the Pro version because I personally really enjoy the added benefits of having Pro. Iron Man Mode Iron Man Mode is an account type, released on October 13, 2014, that encourages the player to be entirely self-sufficient. Iron Men are locked out of most forms of interaction with other players, such as trading, the Grand Exchange, most group minigames, PvP, and almost all other group activities. Standard Iron Man and Ultimate Iron Man were both released on October 13, 2014. Hardcore Iron Man was later released on November 10, 2016. You can distinguish between a normal account and an Iron Man account by the symbols that will appear in the chat box in front of a player's name. A normal Iron Man will have a grey helmet, an Ultimate Iron Man will have a white helmet, and a Hardcore Iron Man will have a red helmet. I would highly suggest sticking to a normal account to start your adventure, as Iron Man is more for experienced players wanting a bigger challenge. GP and XP The two most important goals in the game are experience points and coins. First we need to know our abbreviations. K is for thousand, M is for million, and B is for billion. Those terms are used to shorten numbers. For example, 5.5K XP or 44 mil GP. The GP or XP is often omitted. For example, 100K till 96 mining. Obviously it's XP. Or Room plate legs cost 40k. Obviously, it's coins. Skills in the game are divided into two main groups buyables and non buyables. When supplies needed to train the skill can be bought, the skill is called a buyable. Those skills are fletching, construction, smithing, herb lore, prayer, range, magic, crafting, fire making, and farming. With buyable skills, you can determine a GP per XP rate for every training method, which is how many coins it costs to get 1 XP. Non-buyables are skills requiring more focus and a lot more direct interaction, as the XP in them can't be bought. Those skills are Attack, Strength, Defense, Hit Points, Slayer, Runecrafting, Agility, Thieving, Hunter, Mining, Fishing, and woodcutting. The highest possible level in any skill in the game is 99, which requires 13,034,431 experience, and the highest possible total level is 2,277, requiring 299,791,913 experience. 200 million is the maximum amount of experience you can get in a single skill. There are three combat styles in RuneScape, Melee, Ranged, and Magic. They follow the so-called Combat Triangle. Melee has an advantage in combat over Range, Range has an advantage in combat over Magic, and Magic has an advantage in combat over Melee. So for example, a Ranger is best protected against Magic attacks, averagely protected against Range attacks, and his weakness is Melee attacks. This is both visible in PvP and PvM. Thus, when you plan to fight some monsters that attack with a melee, it's usually best to fight them with magic. 
Within each of the three main classes, you can find attack styles. Melee attacks can be either slash, stab, or crush. Range styles are arrows, bolts, and thrown. Magic attack styles are air, earth, water, and fire. Styles are associated with the weapon you're using, or in the case of magic, with the spell you're casting. When fighting, players usually follow the general weakness of their opponent. For example, when fighting a monster weak to slash, you'll be okay using any melee style, but using exactly a slash weapon will be the most efficient method. When you die in normal circumstances, you keep three items and the rest is dropped at the spot where you died. You will have to get back to where you died to reclaim your items or else you won't get them back. You have up to 60 minutes to go and get your items before they will disappear for good. Generally, items that you drop will remain visible only to you for one minute. Then they'll be visible to everyone for two more minutes and then they vanish forever. So be very careful what you drop, and never drop anything valuable. The Wilderness is a large, dangerous area where players can engage in PvP. It's separated from the safe area by the Wilderness Ditch. When killed by another player in the Wilderness, you lose everything except your three most valuable items. If you're praying the Protect Item Prayer, you'll keep one more additional item on death. If you're the first to attack in a fight, you'll receive a skull above your character's head, making it so that you will keep zero items upon death to another player. If you're sculled and using protect item, you'll keep your most valuable item. Players use this to their advantage by only taking one valuable item with them to use for special attacks while doing PvP. The best place to sell items is the Grand Exchange, which is located in the northwestern area of Varrock. It's very convenient and eliminates most of the direct player-to-player -player trading. The worlds where players still trade with each other are World 2 and World 1 around the Grand Exchange area. All items stack in the bank. If you have multiple of the same item, they'll occupy one slot with the number of them displayed. However, not all items stack in your inventory. For example, runes stack, but logs don't. You can use the note button in the bank interface to withdraw note stackable items in a form of a certificate, which stacks. This allows you to carry large quantities of items, for example, from the bank to the Grand Exchange. So that pretty much sums up the basics. Although there's a lot of material that I didn't cover, I'm confident that after watching this video you'll have a much better understanding of what Old School RuneScape has to offer and hopefully you'll take something from my video and use it to better your playing experience. And the most important thing guys, is just to have fun. I hope you enjoy everything that RuneScape has to offer you. Thanks again for watching my video, and take care guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and drop me a follow on Instagram.